Hello and welcome back. Today we will talk about something called the differentiation. And before hanging on in the differentiation, I want to refer to something in physics. Of course, all of us knows that velocity equals the variation of distance over the variation in time. And here in this equation, we have two quantities divided by each other. And we have this delta here. And the delta refers to the variation. So, our lesson today talks about this point. If I want to get the value of this delta d, I say delta d equals d2 negative d1. So, why did I say d2 minus or negative d1? If I have my first distance and we will refer to it by d1 and also this is the same starting point and this is d2 here. So the difference between the two lenses here is this part. which we will refer to D. So we can write this D2 by another way. Since this part equals D1 and this part equals D, we can say that D2 equals D1 plus D. And accordingly, we move this to the other side by the negative, so we get D2 negative d1 equals d. So our lesson today talks about this variation. And as we just mentioned now, delta x would equal x Two negative x one, and x two equals x one plus h. This is the quantity which is more. It's added to x to give this x two as if it were two distances, and the difference between them is d. So those two are similar. Here we change the d with an h, d1 with x1 and d2 with x2. So this is x2 and it equals x1 plus h. And we can rephrase the previous like this plus h negative x1 and so the x1 goes with the negative x1 so the delta x equals h so this is the value of the variation what we need in our lesson today is to get the function of delta x we already used to see the functions like this fx for example equals x to the power 2 plus x negative 1 so this is a function but what if I want the f delta x
So here I have two values of x. I have x1 and x2, which equals x1 plus h. And as we do normally to get the difference between x2 and x1, we make x2 minus x1, we will subtract the function of f x1 minus the function of f x2 to get the delta x because the delta x here equals f x2 minus x1 so for example if I want to get the value of this I want to get the f delta x to solve this problem we will type the two functions f x2 negative f x1 so it's very normal to do this because if we want to obtain delta x without any functions we say x2 minus x1 so accordingly the function of delta x equals the function of x2 negative the function of x1 and here we substitute with the actual value of x2 which is f x1 plus h negative f x1 and close the bracket so we substitute then with the values in our equation we have the f delta x equals here we have x1 plus h x1 plus h all the power of 2 plus x1 plus h negative 1 this is the function we substituted with x1 plus h instead of x here in our equation then we write our next equation like this positive 1 we introduce the negative inside the inner bracket so our signs are all flipped over they're all changed so we have f delta x equals here we have x1 above 2 positive 2x1 h positive x squared positive x1 positive h negative 1 negative x power 2 1 negative x positive 1 and here we have our bracket so we will have a lot of terms cancelled here so this one will go with this one we have also this one will go with this one the negative one with the one and the remainder is only h square positive 2 x1 h positive h so this is the variable function of the fx x to the power 2 plus x negative 1 this is the function that we use if we want to get a variable if we have two values of x x to the power 2 uh, or uh, sorry x2 and x1 and this is the variable x this is the function which illustrates this value 